The Illinois women's basketball team hits the road this week to play at Rutgers Thursday night. The Illini are getting a mid-season boost from Nancy Paniatopoulou, who, as WCI3's Craig Schott reports, couldn't be more excited to finally be on the court. Okay, so my first name is Athanasia and Panigitopoulou and Tsopoulou. You may have seen her name on the roster or at the State Farm Center, but until Thursday, you had never heard it. Nancy, All I could think about was it's about time. Not only did she play, she scored the first points of her career. The 6'3 forward joined the Illini in 2017, but missed two and a half seasons with injuries. A torn ACL and meniscus, then she retore that meniscus followed by a stress fracture only days before this season started. But through it all, she's never given up on her dream. I am really resilient and persistent. <laughs> <laughs> I can, I always had this myself. I mean, there are, you always have your ups and downs, and there have been moments that I, you know, was, I was feeling really unmotivated, but I always tried to get myself to get motivated again, because I know what I want to do. Paniotopoulou gives the Illini more size in the post, where they are lacking against other Big Ten teams. Head coach Nancy Fay doesn't want to throw too much at the Athens Greece native, but she knows she's ready for her role. You know, day by day, letting her get her confidence back. I think it's it's something to say, you know, been gone that long, and you have to be a little patient to let her get the opportunity to get, you know, game experience. Um, but we're we're there. There still is some learning though when it comes to her last name. Can you say her name correctly? Nancy. Yes. What about last? Name? Uh, you didn't ask that. You said Nancy. I call her. Um, <laughs> I've tried a couple times. It's a little embarrassing, but we'll keep at it. Hopefully for Fay. She hears it a lot after Paniosa Pulu scores at the State Farm Center. Reporting for your Illini Nation, Craig Show, WCI3 Sports. Craig, thanks. Illinois.